Hi guys, welcome back to this week's video. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Peace. Welcome to this space, a space where we have conversations around motherhood, around marriage, lifestyle, and we have fun while doing it. And in today's video, actually, this video is long overdue, but I'm so glad we finally, finally, actually reshot this. Yes. And I'm with the one and only uh, Kaze Ode. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she's a midwife. She's an entrepreneur. She will tell us a lot more about herself and i'm so happy to welcome her to the show welcome uh, thank you very much for receiving me and to be able to be here in your presence i've yeah. been following you for a couple uh. times <laughs> i'm a huge fan so thank, thank you. you for receiving me um my name is Aude Kaze. i'm a midwife uh, I'm an entrepreneur, a new entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and I give uh, also uh, awareness around um, maternal health, okay. uh, uh, infant health, contraception, sexuality. Yes. So, yeah. so welcome, 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 welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Mm -hmm. You are in the, we need her in this space. <laughs> Ariku, uh -huh. disclaimer, she's, uh, she's. You need to tell the story. Yeah, the oh, disclaimer, yeah? Yes. No, no, before the story, we need to, we're going to tell them the story. But the <laughs> disclaimer is uh, she's she's really, uh, she's a French person. Like, you speak French. Yes, that's what I, want I am to say. a francophone. <laughs> francophone. I'm definitely a francophone. Yes, and uh, we, we're going to try and yes. make sure, like, uh, we uh, I try to understand the French today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but she's really good. She's trying. You put, you put the effort yes. to really try. And, yeah, but uh, I have an accent, though, when I speak, like... Uh, uh, when I speak English? Yes. Some of... Uh, yeah, like but we get it. Accent. We get it. Yeah, yeah, the accent is there, but we, get, we, we understand what we're trying to say. So now, mm -hmm. do you want to tell people the story that happened to us? This guy, this is a reshoot. <laughs> a whole reshoot. Like, oh my God. So we've been trying to do this video for how long exactly? Okay, the first time we plan to do this video for like seven months mm -hmm. when you're away. I think when I, I reached out to you, we were in Brussels. Yes. And then when you go back, we scheduled and then we're like, you know what, let's do the shoot. Yes. We did the shoot, guys. I, I think I, I have a, a, a clip that I used the phone with. I will insert something to, to show people that we actually did the shoot. And then that didn't happen. I lost. We lost the footage, mm -hmm. and then replanning again to actually shoot again was... took well, like three, four months. Yes. So but we're here. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a baby, it's already born. What's <laughs> kita but I'm so happy that you Me made too. the time to 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 finally be able to make it. Me and too. yeah, and um, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about postnatal care for mamas yes. so usually we, we we get to know more about postnatal care for for, for babies yes. like when, from the hospital from our aunties from our you know relatives the experts and all that they only tell us what we can expect to while raising a newborn baby mm -hmm. but really nobody talks about the mama mm -hmm. well not nobody but rarely mm -hmm. a few people talk about uh care for moms uh, in the postpartum period mm -hmm. but before we start or rather we've already started but could you tell us uh could you tell people what postpartum care really is about okay so um so postpartum care is the postpartum starts the day uh the hours when you just don't give a birth baby. yes yeah uh until uh we say sometimes six weeks okay so it's the it's like it's what we call also the fourth trimester. Okay, yeah, the fourth trimester. Yeah. Yes, it's the, it's the the fourth trimester. The spot is, is is the postpartum. Okay, so it's starting like uh, one hour. Okay, after delivering the baby and okay. delivering the placenta. Yeah, and um, it has two types. So you it depends of how you give birth. Okay, if it was by natural birth okay a vaginal, birth, vaginal birth yes or by c-sections okay um the way that you're gonna we're gonna take care of the mother depends also of where she coming from okay uh, of oh, definitely the whole pregnancy yes she, we'll see uh, like uh, we'll see uh, like a hard pregnancy a hard pregnancy yes yes yes, yes. and also being there uh, especially during like the baby blues okay yes and also the postpartum depression to okay. prevent all of that okay so it's just like to um, to be there and uh, to help mothers until they don't need us anymore. Ah, okay. Like, I want when don't we need you? <laughs> when don't we need you? <laughs> but it's like yes. to be able to say, okay, now you got this okay. and you don't need me because mm. our role is to, is to lead the mother to be independent. 
okay and to not need us anymore okay yeah. perfect yeah. that's really nice so uh well uh as you've said it all depends on how you give birth either yes. by virginal birth or C-section. Yes. So we're going to be covering both sides. Okay. Uh, so n- my number one question mm-hmm. is what are the essentials like for physical? Because uh, in postpartum uh, period, there is care mentally, there mm-hmm. is care uh, physically, mm-hmm. but let's start with the physical part mm-hmm. of it. So let's start with a C-section. Mm-hmm. What are the essentials that one can can prepare for before giving birth or even after giving birth? Because nobody prepares us for these things. Like you leave the theater after you know, a C-section, and you go back home. So how to care for the incision, like the, the cut, the incision, yes, yeah? Yes. How to care for that? What what can we do during that period to care for the, for, for the one, well, to, after C-section? Yes. Okay, Alors, after C-sections, you have, you need to take care about, first, first of all, you need to take care about yourself okay. as a mother. Mm. So um, what I mean by that, it's like, when you give birth, you know, you don't go back to your normal activities that you used to do. You know, like trying to cook yes. or trying to uh, be there or go to do groceries. It's okay. like you need to lay down. Okay. When I say lay down, it's like to put yourself in a... Um, uh, to put yourself like in a break, okay. Where you're gonna a, be, yeah. Yes, where you're gonna be recovering. So, mm. we're gonna go about like the physical way, okay. For example, I'm not gonna uh, like remember, um, the way that you used to uh, wake up, okay, like standing up, okay, when you're in your bed is the same way you do, remember, okay, okay. I don't know, like, I might be showing you after this, okay, but um, don't use your abs, okay, when you wake up, okay, when you cough. You need to take your belly and then you cough. When you oh. need to laugh, mm. you take your belly and you laugh. When you need to stand up, mm. it's like you stand. You take your 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 scars okay. and then you stand oh. up. You want to sit, you take it, you sit. Oh. So you can prevent to not having like opening a tear, a a tear. tear eh. of your scars. Eh, okay. And also on the way that you. Um, many well, mothers it's more like an open up yes yes mm. many mothers have sometimes the issue with the back the back yes because the anesthesia but mm. you need to understand that for nine months okay okay nine months your baby has been pushing yes every articulation every muscles and also your back because your pregnancy go yeah yeah mm-hmm. uh, have you said it? Yeah, uh, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the bump grows. Yes, the yeah. bump grows. Mm. And, uh, the, your, your vertical, your... The back, yeah. Your back yeah. move a little bit. <laughs> After six weeks, you mm. need to go back to the physiotherapist so okay. he can recenter it. Oh, back. I did and not. We, we don't say that. We don't know that. <laughs> what? We don't say that. But so, also, wow. Actually... That that's really that's actually yes. new information to me right now. Yeah. Yeah, like I've never even heard of it. It's yeah. my first time hearing this. Okay, so after that. And after that, also there is like some ways that you need to because like something I want to tell you, Moisa, it's yes. like the whole body okay. of a woman change the way you breathe your a system of breathing, yes. a system of circulation of the blood, yes. everything changed. So you need to give yourself time mm. that everything structure himself okay. to go back to the normal. It's the same way. You know, like, um, j'ai pris le truc. Attends, wait. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. So this is my pelvis. Okay. Right? Yeah. So when Show you- them. <laughs> so when your baby is pregnant, mm. the baby is here. Okay. Okay. It's Pressing like, on it. Yeah, it's like this. Mm. Okay. So because you know that we have like um, a perineum here, it's like a mass. Okay. Of muscles to sustain your uh, your rectum, your uterus, and mm-hmm. also your bladder scan. Yes. So each time that you're getting pregnant, mm. this go down. Goes down. And this go down mm. and go down. That's how you have like women who have like um, the bladder issues, lose bladder. Oh. Use urine. Yes. Eh. Lose bladder. Eh. A lot. Whenever you want to pee and you, every time you laugh, 
you pee on yourself, right? <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> so imagine like when you're 38 or yeah. 36 or 40 or hey. even 45. Yeah. You find yourself in the meeting, you just cough and you pee uh, on yourself when you're presenting something. Ooh, wow. You know, and then as, as a woman, physically and emotionally, mm. you feel like... Something Nothing. is wrong. Something is wrong. But it's very normal. It's very normal. But you have to educate that after mm. birth, six weeks after birth. Yeah. So this is all the so how, what can we do to strengthen that? Or to So for for you to strengthen that, it's good to first of all start like Kiko exercises. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You see <laughs> what I mean? Yes. <laughs> can you explain more about that? Yes. So Kiko exercise is to muscles uh the perineum and your vagina so hey. you look straight. Come off straight. Do we know how to do that? Like, okay. leave in the comment section if you know what she is talking about. Yeah. Yes. So it's like be able to muscles. Yeah. Uh, this. And if you don't know, Google it. <laughs> or send questions. Oh yeah. Yeah. Who <laughs> will help you? Yeah. Um. So. Kaze Kwezi. Actually, Kwezi. I'll leave her Instagram page on the screen. Uh, Kwezi. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you can send her all your questions. And as you can see, she's very elaborative she describes everything to the t she's the best teacher for you and i'm really so, happy so, you're so here to have to have like to take care of her mothers yeah. is to take care of her emotionally yeah to understand what she's feeling yeah and because like you know having a baby it's not like we we tend to do that that it's very easy yes but it's not it okay. is not. And then physically, I want her to rest as yeah. much as he can. She okay. can. Mm. So she can. It's not good to to uh, to try to be Act really active or yes. use a lot of energy. Yes. Okay. At least for the three weeks after birth, you okay. really need to to recover. Okay. From your pregnancy and okay. also from the bad the labor that yeah, you the, had. Yeah, yeah, and also the whole. Uh, the cutting and opening of the body like a c-section by the way is not a shortcut people no. think it's a shortcut yeah. but do you know that a mother who had a c-section take more time to recover mm. from a mother who has a vaginal vaginal birth? i've heard yeah. yeah because even though like okay it's we easy sh we shall get to the vaginal birth on its yeah. own and yeah it takes one hour to have a c-section mm. to cut it to remove the baby and mm. then to stitches everything yeah. it takes one hour one hour and a half mm -hmm. but after that yeah your body has been cut into layers yes. open yes yes so for you to recover it will take much time yeah and it doesn't it's a surgery mean, and it doesn't mean that you didn't give birth mm. you know because like there's also this um about the mental health yeah. around that. It's like, ah, what else is that? Eh, no, that it is no, there was no mm. problem you had. Like for me, I never went through labor mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. Like, of course, I had the amniotic fluids were very, they were doing low. Yes. So, and my baby was due. Yes. So the doctor was like, and he was uh, in a breech position. Yes. So they, they were, could not be induced. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was no time for him to turn mm -hmm. because there was no fluids. Mm -hmm. So we had to schedule a C-section. So yeah. I didn't go through all the labor. So it was like so peaceful. I woke up in the morning, I showered, and then I went to the theater. And then an hour later, I'm a mother. Yeah. But after that, yes. ooh, child. How was it? It was really hard. Like, uh, yeah, the, the incision to heal the back pain. I think because of the anesthesia, I, even up to now, I bend like I bend for a few minutes and I feel I feel it in my backbone. Yeah. 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 So one of the tips I want to tell of mothers who had C sections. Okay. Okay. Mm. Not try to not use um to um not use your back? No, not use your back. But I will say maybe not to do the things that you used to do before you were pregnant. For example, something falling down. Mm. You need to do squats more. Mm. you know yeah. you need to prevent your back for example you just take like you just did some groceries mm. or you're taking large like even with a midi ego okay? heavy stuff yes. always take this on yourself never do this you mm. know there's the way that you need to like to stable okay your back and not doing moves that you used to do before before yeah you know even the way you wake up mm. with the way that you sit in your, your in your bedroom so uh what about the wound how know, for the wound it depends also uh, okay. Misa. it's mm. like uh, you know each ho hospital has its own protocols okay so there's uh doctors who 
put like a, uh, something to protect the wound. Okay, like a plaster? Weeks. Yes, mm. for two weeks. Mm. And then after that, you go to check to the doctor. Excuse me. Mm. There are doctors who put like, um, who do stitches. Like or, a phrase. Or, or the one who do phrase. So uh, it depends. For like me, Like staples, we mean. Yes. <laughs> But for me, usually when I go to see mothers after, at postpartum at home. Yes. Um, usually some of the doctors remove the the protection yeah so, before you leave the hospital yeah, before they leave that the happened hospital, to me too before they leave the yes. hospital so what i just need to check when i go to see them is to mm. see is it warm okay is the stitches still good okay did they did they start to to uh this the the wound dissolve is, yeah mm. recovering himself by mm, himself yeah, yeah and also i usually ask mothers when they take a shower mm. never To rub on it? Yes. So, uh, by the way, let's talk about how to take a shower. Yeah. Ooh, so, you can take a shower. Mm -hmm. You can really With soap and... And soap and your... And your... Go, and your gum. Bathing clothes. Yeah. Yes. But you never put that in your wound. Just mm. in the wound, you put just water. Mm. And then you always have to have the own towels for this. Mm. Very important. Because okay. the towel that you use... To clean your the whole body, yeah, uh -huh. it has like you put, eh? yeah, 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 and then you go, nah, mm. you put that on your wound. No. I hear you. So for the wound, you have to have your own towels. Okay. Alors, if I see, for example, that it's starting to be not as a one, because I can never say, oh, you should do this and do this and do this, mm. because our skin is different, yes, and the way that we cover our skin is oh, different. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. I cannot give you the medication because the medication may 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 be good on you mm. and not good on someone else. Mm. You know. Yes. But what I can tell you, it's like about how you clean yourself. Okay. You need to have the wound for that. Okay. Like a towel. A towel just, specifically just for, the for the for the yes. wound. And oh. then you tamp like you dab. Mm -hmm. you, you don't dab. rub. Yeah. Yes, you dab. A little bit. Yes. Yeah, dabbing, dabbing. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's also great to see. Okay, to see? Yes. You know, this is where your baby come. Mm -hmm. This is a mark that you still have the whole of your life. Yes. So it's good to see, to go to the mirror and look at it. Okay. And be able to touch it <laughs> okay. and feel is, okay. if, if it's harder, okay. is it softer, is it red. So when should you be concerned? You should be concerned if you see that it's red. Okay. Red is not good. Red is not good, people. Okay. Mm. And then also, if it's starting to have a more amashira. Yeah. Wuchafu. Mm. You know, that's not good also. Mm. Uh, if it's too much, like, if it's too hard, it's not so, sometimes not well. Okay, so, when, would we, okay, when should you feel like uh, this is okay? If you don't have those, those, those <laughs> I just tell you. Oh, no, God. I love it. <laughs> Doctors. Well, I mean, thank you so much for this information. This is really good. Yes. Uh, so another thing I wanted to ask about mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when, because, uh, again, I had I had a C-section. Mm -hmm. And we're still under C-section. We, we shall get to the virginal birth mm -hmm. after this. But one question I want to ask is on food. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, there's some foods they, they told me I'm not allowed to eat. Is, mm -hmm. it, is it something that is true? Maybe you could tell us what you can eat and what you cannot eat eat mm -hmm. after a c-section mm -hmm. maybe why you eat that so generally about the foods we can eat as as uh during the post postnatal period okay i don't food the food mm. um you can eat whatever you want whatever okay uh let me rephrase that <laughs> you can eat food okay I said whatever you want now because uh, you're gonna not eat like because you just give birth like burgers and like yeah, fast food. Yeah, yeah. But I would say you need to eat healthy food. Okay. But you have also have to pay attention that you eat food who are not constipating you. Mm. Because, because if you have... Give a, us an example. Like bread, for example, mm. white bread, mm. white rice. Okay. Okay. Um, you need to eat like um, um, even food who are like... Warm. Is is it a warm or is it to digest? Yes, and also like why why do I say warm? Is okay. because like you know you you having a C section, so you bleed. Mm. So you have to put warm food okay. to put your system in the warm temperature, so you can feel better. Okay. Okay. Mm. So 
I always say warm food, food that it's good for you, mm -hmm. okay, who don't constipating you mm -hmm. because the things that constipate me it's not the same way okay like, um so you try and see if it if it does yes so if, what about if you're constipated what do you do alors if you're constipated uh -huh. Uh -huh. my friend hey so alors constipation comes from the fact that you don't eat healthy food who put your like fab, fiber fiber mm. and also you don't drink water mm. so usually i ask mother to drink after birth between one liter and one liter and a half one liter and one of, liter and a half of yes, water of water okay. but when i say water i mm. put also tea mm. tea is inside okay soup is also wa like soup there's it's, water yeah. inside so i i tried this juices whatever yeah yes mm. this is the hydration mm. about it second of all it's like when you go to the toilet okay to go to the toilet is supposed to be something enjoyable you don't go to the toilet because you're running And also, if you go to the toilet, the way you sit in the toilet, mm. you know, like this, this little bit of uh, table mm. that um, kids uh, go oh, on. Oh, the standing stools. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I usually ask mothers to get put it. their kids yeah. there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, I, can, I can picture that. Yes. <laughs> so they can, it's the right system to go to the toilet. Mm. When you go to the toilet, take your phone, yeah. you know, enjoy. Like, mm. it has to be something of, pleasure yeah well well wow. <laughs> okay yeah yeah um, so um my uh, let's say okay prevention that is measures of prevention mm -hmm. but now you have already yes like, you have the constipation yeah how can we handle that was me my experience mm -hmm. i i got up i actually got this information somewhere so when i i was literally i got a pillow mm -hmm. and i put here On, on the incision, I mean, here I mean on the incision mm -hmm. where it was cut open. Mm -hmm. So that, because I felt literally, as I push, mm. the, it's painful. Mm -hmm. So at least I needed something to hold me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't do that. Like, I don't know. So you tell us. Me, usually I, I, um, I give medication, like mm. for because mm. I mean, put in the water and then Yeah, it's too soft now. Yeah. Yes. To, to, to soft, soften his yes, tool, yeah. Yes. I don't like usually to ask mothers to push. Mm. Because, like, if you push, like, you have, yeah. like, issues with your womb. Mm. Um, I just, I prevent them. I do the prevention before it happens. And then when it happens, mm. usually I ask them to do a prescription where they will drink. I don't, we don't do, you know, like, this system that we used to do in our, in our... Uh, Continent, African continent. In your queen, ah, what's that? Ah, if it's a mass of shoes, like a shira mukanuka kabalon, you put that in your rectum, and then you go shama mass of shoes. Queen woman. Yes, 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 yes. Alors, avant, 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 du tout, avant, ne varie, ban, varie, no. So you go give a queen. How do you say that? I don't know. <laughs> Tell us in the comment section. <laughs> let's let's uh, move on. Yeah. But it's the same yeah. way. Uh, yeah. But usually I ask them to take like Movicol or something that can put you to go to the toilet. Okay. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So prevention is the way. Uh, if it does, if it happens, you constipate, get get the stool softener yes. to help you. Do yes. not push. No. Do not push. Do not push. Okay. No. Got it. So yeah. Um. Anything else you'd like to educate us? I didn't. I wasn't able to ask. Yes. Uh, taking care of yourself after C-section. The because like uh, because the baby didn't do the whole travel mm. about vaginal birth. Mm. So after the immediately in postpartum, I really recommend mothers to do skin to skin as much as they can. Okay. So they can. Start that is for the baby. Yes, for but no, also for them. Okay. On the fact that they want a breastfeeding. Okay. If the purpose of the mothers is breastfeeding, mm. this is something that will ask them. After birth, immediately do the skin to skin so you can interact with your baby mm. and maybe stimulate the production of the milk. Breast milk. Yeah. That's also noted. Um, now that we're on the, the vaginal birth, mm -hmm. yeah? So usually, uh, when what should we want? I've never had one. So you're going to educate us all and me included because i have no experience even the right questions to ask mm -hmm. but a general question i would i would say how can a mother take care of themselves after a vaginal birth most of them have tears i've had really trauma traumatic 
experiences with mothers who have had virginal birth mm -hmm. but also get a tear mm -hmm. so how can they take care of that alors for um so as a vaginal birth and c-section as i told you it's like the the way that you're gonna take care is so important okay um because a tears or episiotomy mm. it, it, it hurts Epi then the doctor so episiotomy is when you cut it the doctor like literally does yeah, it we, yeah we cut oh it yeah, yeah yeah to give space for the baby for to the baby to pass okay but a vaginal birth is made by the baby when you're coming from mm. it tears a little bit yeah uh, in your perineum okay your perine. mm. so um so it's two procedure the one is natural okay. because your baby who's do it mm. and the other one is us the professional of health yeah, okay. a health professional who do it yeah. so about the to take care of the wound, the, the 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 tears okay. or episiotomy yeah it will depend on the protocols that the hospital put it okay. because some of the hospitals for example ask to put some medication mm. so you put some medication in a warm bottle and then when you go to the toilet you always pour pour rinse on the yes. yeah other hospital asking you just to use normal saline it's like this uh it's like water okay in a box that mm. we found in the pharmacy mm. uh, it's called uh, serum physiologique uh, you can find everywhere some of the doc i didn't i didn't get that it's like it's like a normal saline it's like um it's like this it's, it's a liquid it's water okay water made in the laboratory okay that you can find it's <laughs> just a like pharmacy. a beautiful name serum physiologique <laughs> but it's just water <laughs> okay uh, that you find in got the, it that you find in the pharmacy and then um we ask them to tampons okay yeah 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 mm. yeah um me um i cannot tell you what you should do mm -hmm. because it depends on which on how the tear I'm seeing. Okay, but then let's just give general knowledge. Alors, in general eh. knowledge, I always ask mothers to, you know, like uh, the white clay? Okay, yes, the white clay. Yeah, the white clay has beautiful, beautiful... You can also get it in the pharmacy. Yes, yes. Yeah, you can also get it in the pharmacy. Yeah. Um, has beautiful functions. Okay. They're very bactericid, like they help the womb to recover. Yeah. Uh, they, um, it's like... It's magnificent. I okay. love it. So the, proce the, the, the procedure is you get the clay, uh -huh. and mix then you put a little, a little bit, of, bit water, of water, and you then you mix it, mm -hmm. and then say it to be like a little bit like a pest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You put the paste and you on put the it, tear. Yes, and you okay. put on your tear and for 15 minutes. Okay. After that, you clean yourself with hot, no, cold water. But cook, cooked? Like is it boiled for the it bacteria? It would be good. It would be good if it cooked. Okay. It would be good if the bacteria is yes. yeah. And then you do that three times in the day. Three times a day. Three times in the day. That that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of times. <laughs> that's a lot of for yeah. mother to find. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's a lot of times for mother to like be able to do that, and then with a newborn, and then da, da, da. yeah, realistically, but can we, once a day do? Mm, I would say twice a lot. Okay. But okay. you, I will. We'll see the difference for mm. like in one the way when I said it, mm. and then when I come back one week after, mm. I see really the difference. Okay. Um. Yeah. And also, um, uh, use uh, when you're in postpartum after vaginal birth. Mm. Please, mothers, stop wearing strings, a string, oh, or just yeah. wearing like cottons. That's okay. what I want because I want your vagina to, to breathe. breathe. Uh, cottons, uh, no intimacy. Of course. <laughs> you'll be surprised, my dear. <laughs> you're like People love sex. I love her look. She's like, you'll be surprised. <laughs> you'll be very surprised. So, oh, with the tear. Jesus yeah, Christ. No tears for six weeks. Mm. No sauna. No, no tears. No, no, no sex for six weeks. Yes. Um, no spoons, no, um, no, uh, no washing with, uh, soap. Soap. Inside, just, mm. uh, Douche, no. Like the no. Douching. No, no. Mm. Definitely no. No. Because the, uh, I, I'm, I'm always scared about the pressure mm. that you put in the douche. Okay. Because with the big pressure, mm. you can open again. Okay. For a properly... 
cared for tear, mm -hmm. how long does it take for mother to heal? Or it depends on the person? It depends on the person. Okay, okay. gotcha. But usually I say one month. Okay. One, three weeks, three mm. weeks, one month, mm. usually. Okay. But it depends. So uh, when should the mother be concerned? When things are not... She, you, you, be, she should be concerned when it doesn't smell good. It's when, well, mm. when she's starting seeing liquids who are yellowish, mm. you know, it's not very well. Okay. So it's really necessary for her to always pay attention. Mm. Okay. So is the stitches going down? Okay. Yes. Am I smelling... Um, my vagina is smelling differently? Okay. Yes. yes. If the smell is differently, please... Check. Mm. Come to see us. Midwives okay. will be well. By the way, talking of midwives, mm -hmm. like uh, what are other roles that midwives like do? Like uh, behind the, the behind the camera, we always talk about how um, it's really important to keep a midwife close to you. Home visits, because sometimes we wait until six weeks mm. to go back to the doctor after giving birth. Like personally, literally spent what a whole year. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> without going back to the to the, knee, to the doctor, but uh, so I would like you to uh, sensitize people, tell them about the goodness of having uh, a midwife to do full home visits, follow ups, and all that. I know you do the services as well, so please tell us about yeah. that. So a midwife, we usually take um, um, take care of uh, parents okay. when they decide to have a baby, okay. so to the conceptions, okay. until the baby is one year. But mm. me, usually, I go until the baby is one month. Okay. One month, two months. But mm. there's midwives who go until one year. Okay. Um, and we do uh, prenatal consultations. We do labor. Mm. We do postpartum at home. Okay. Or oh, sometimes postpartum at the clinic. Okay. Usually, when we, go, we come at home, it's just to check. We okay. don't prescribe. It's not like it's a doctor I'm going to heal. Mm. It's just to see. Okay. How it goes? How the breastfeeding is going? Is okay. it the mother's? Is it well? Mm. How's the baby? Is the baby taking weight? Okay. Or not? Gaining weight. Yes. Yeah. To see how it is the follow up after birth and okay. how the mother is doing at home. Oh, I think I'll do better with my second child. <laughs> You might be, you might be my darling. No, I will do better with yeah. with my second child. Definitely, because I know all this. I didn't know all this information. Mm -hmm. We struggled, but now that's why we have this space to tell young mothers, first time mothers, to actually get to know about this information. Because I'm also learning. I'm learning new things and I know the, with this information, I'm going to do better mm -hmm. in uh, moving forward and with my second other babies to come because yeah. I'm going to have more than one. Duh. <laughs> so now we, uh, we, we, we've at least tackled uh, a few things on the, on the physical healing and the physical care. Mm -hmm. And if you have any more questions about that, please leave in the comment section and she'll be sure to answer them or write to her on her Instagram page. She'll be sure to answer them or write to me and I'll get the answers for you from her and other healthcare personnel. So now um, on this side, oh, on this part of the video, we're going to talk about mental health yes. after giving birth, like the, the postpartum uh, depression, anxiety. Uh, you're going to tell us how, how to spot the signs and how to get help because we need these things. Sometimes you don't even know you're going through them. So that's why you're going to tell us about the signs. Is that clear? Am I not yes. really fast? No. Is, you good? Yes. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, after delivering your first baby. Yeah. Did you face some baby blues? No. No? I don't know. Not really. Do you remember? Did you remember when you came from the hospital at home? Did you find yourself crying or being negative or changing moods or being happy and then being sad and then crying, being angry? Yeah, but I just thought I was just tired. <laughs> you were just tired? I mean, because uh, by the way, uh, something happened when we just we just had our baby. Mm -hmm. I would easily get offended. Okay. Like easily, uh, quick to anger. Okay. Yeah, like oh my husband, sorry babe. Huh? Yeah, like I think one time he said something to me innocently. I cried. I bowed out. Cried. He got scared. Do you remember when it was like three days, five days, no, one no, week, No, I think two uh, weeks. three weeks. 
Okay. Three weeks, because okay. actually, because the first two weeks I was on here, uh -huh. I was at my mom's, and then the, the, the after two weeks I was here. So that's yes. when we spent more time together. Okay. So yeah, but I was, I don't know, I didn't really have it yeah. severe or like, okay. but before the, the, the pre, the, the pre, uh, the, the pre, how they call it? The prenatal, like before the, the depression, the, the depression before oh, during during pregnancy. Okay, you had the depression during. Pregnancy. Yes, but after I don't know. I think with my child, then it just dissolved. I don't know. Okay. I don't. I don't remember it being that deep. Okay. After in, after after birth. So usually, you know, after birth, mm. three at five days after birth, usually or. Yes, mm. two, three, five days. Mm. Mothers are facing what we call baby blues, which okay. is totally normal. Yes, I assure you. Okay. All the mothers, Could you explain all, to those who don't know what baby yes, blues are. Baby blues, it's like, um, it's like you have like your hormones who go down. Mm. The whole hormones of your pregnancy yes. go down because the baby is there now. Yes, and then mother face, and because also because mothers doesn't sleep. They don't sleep. You just the tired. First days, mm. they're so tired that they're starting having being angry. Yeah, mood swings. Mood swings. Yeah. Start, and then they also have I think emotion, I had that. emotional I, liability. I had the baby blues. Yes, <laughs> emotional liability. So they cry a lot. Okay? Excuse me. Yeah. When we don't take care of a mother when she going through baby blues, mm. and then we don't take care about her feelings mm. and understanding the her and being there yeah most of the mothers i don't say that it's all the mothers go yeah. from baby blues uh. but when we don't take care of the sign for the baby blues yeah you can go to the postpartum depressions ah so usually i always tell mothers when i come at home mm. you know as a midwife we see everything the way the house you, you, get, the you house, can identify uh, the symptoms yes eh? how she's doing the way she's taking care of her baby, the way she communicates with the husband. Yes. You know, mm. I can see, ah, maybe we should do something. Okay. You know, and what do it. you do? So I usually I activate, I tell the husband to activate the community. Okay. So mothers, when you're a mother just giving birth, don't tell her, don't come to her and tell her what you want to eat. Mm. Because she Already. started... Yeah. Crying. Oh, I don't know. I don't yeah. know what to eat. Yeah. So, for example, bring some meals, mm. hot meals for her. Mm. Like, um, bring like be there for her. Okay. Like, do you want me, for example, to burp the baby while you're taking a shower? For yes, example. Yes. Yes. Um, when the baby is crying, don't look at her. Like, do you want me to? Go take or her. ask why the baby is crying because yes. she doesn't know either. <laughs> you know? Or uh, ask her how she feels. Mm. How she doing? You know when aunties comes, hey, umana, you cry, right? Umana. Yeah. Nobody see the mothers. True, true, absolutely. You true. know, it's mm. like, how are you? Are you? Do you want something? Or bring her her favorite cookies, for mm. example, or her favorite juices. She, yeah. Because she I know it makes a really big difference. What, like you know, some uh, some of my friends would visit and they and they would, don't even ask about. It, but they'd be like, "What would I shake it? Mm. Are you craving anything? Mm. I, I appreciate such friends. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Like you, you know? feel like, oh, so they remember me. Oh, so it's not about the baby yes. because when the baby is here, everything is about the baby, the baby, yes. the baby. For example, if it's a mother who decided not to breastfeeding, for example. Yeah. Okay. Um, if she's sleeping, and the baby's crying, mm. do the the baby battle. Yeah. Like help Get... her giving the baby battle to the baby, mm. so she can have time for. Her, for yeah, her like to the feeding nap, bottle, yeah, yeah. To take a shower, mm. you know, to present herself, you know. And sometimes she forgot about herself, you know. Oh, you do really forget about yourself. Yes. Showering. Yes. You feel like you have no energy even to go to the shower. It's all about the baby. It's all it's about a, her. Yeah. It's all about the baby. Mm. But sometimes you forgot yourself. Mm. And one of the things I want to tell mother. I know that it's so difficult. Mm. You always find an excuse about it. Mm. But when a baby sleep, please take a nap. How I practical is that? I know that it's difficult, yeah. but you need to. You cannot to be intentionally in yes, remind because, yourself. Yes, and, yeah. okay, let me take a nap. Mm. Let me take 45 minutes of nap. Let mm. me take one hour of nap. Mm. Because you'll not to be you'll not be able to be sustainable. Yeah. Because you're gonna be tired mm. at the end of the month. And be grumpy and, and grumpy because you didn't sleep. Imagine that was if, me. imagine if if me mm -hmm. 
You don't give me my six hours of sleep every day. <laughs> then you love even, your sleep. Even, even though, even though, like it's really separated. Mm. I will eat you. Definitely, I will eat you. <laughs> I will beat you and eat you because I will be, I will be like yes. tired, yes, nervous. Angry. moody yes. angry like, irritated irritated Ir yes i already see how when i don't get my sleep well i feel even at work you feel like don't talk to me i know you're supposed to talk to people mm. yeah so i hear you rest yeah. is really important yeah. you gotta remember yourself yeah. so the baby blues the house uh, the depression anxiety uh, anxiety is I actually had the anxiety yeah i always thought it, you know i would be in the shower and I've left me be my baby, and I think I'll find yeah, his muka. Mm. My, I then I'll be literally relive the moment. Mm -hmm. Even now, I still get a little bit of anxiety. You know, you, I'm like, I need to quit. They'll sleep, yeah. and then before, literally, I'll relive the moment yeah. when they're already sleeping and falling down, hitting their head, and then I, all that I play the movie in my head, and I'm like, oh, adi hey, adi hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the anxiety, it's also like we you know you you need to do um. How do you say when, when you're, when you're losing someone? How do you call it? You you need to do a graving mm -hmm. between the baby that you dream in your head mm. and the baby who's there. It's not the same baby that you dream in your head. What do you mean? What I mean by that? Mm. Mothers always dream like, oh, my baby's gonna be fine, and then you find yourself with the baby who cries all the time. Yeah, who don't want to sleep. So you need to do like a distinction. Mm. The baby that I had in my head is not the baby that I'm having now. Mm. I always tell mothers like, do whatever you can do. Mm. The thing that you cannot have a, 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 a control power, over. A control mm. it, please don't be, don't have an anxiety. Mm. And also you learn, mm. you learn from your mistakes as yes. a mother also. Yeah. And then you do better. Yeah. And then for your second child, you will be like, no. Mm. It happened to the first one. Mm. Even though that the babies are not the same, I will know how to do that for yes, the second one. Yes. But for the first parents, mm. I usually have calls of mothers. Yes. Um, I don't know. He doesn't look like the same. I'm like, so explain to me. I don't know. Like, I feel this and this and this. Eh. I'm like, do you feel the need me to bring the baby? Would you feel the need me to come? Mm. Is it something that you want to talk about it? Mm. And usually it's more about anxiety that they yeah. have. And what and they the, want... The, uh, reassurance. Yes, what they yeah. want is just to reassure. Mm. You are a good mother. Yeah. You are doing a good job. You're learning. It is okay to make mistakes. Yes, you know? absolutely. And then when mothers have some anxiety, it's just to reaffirm them. Not tell me, oh, you should do this. Or why you didn't do this? No, it's like, you're a good mother. Mm -hmm. You're doing things good for your kids. Yeah. What about doing this? What do you think about we doing this? So you give her the possibility to think or to find another solution. Yeah. Not to blame. Because when you blame a mother who's trying to learn how to be a mother, yeah. they found themselves not be able to communicate after that. And they'll say... Ah, if I say that again, maybe mm. she'll think this, this, this. Yeah. It's just to be there physically yeah. and mentally, but also knowing where you need to have your own place. Yes, yes. got you. You have, for example, this is here mm. okay right okay we used to do that we do this okay eh. so you hurt here your back okay 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 so when you have to take stuff mm. you put yourself in squat you take it oh you know or you balance you take it oh but you 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 with put with c-section okay. and the fact that you had like anesthesia, mm. the way that you move is going to be different. Okay. So you don't do this because when you do this, mm. it hurts here. So you put yourself in squat, you mm. take it. Okay. So you don't hurt your, your, your back. bag. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what about standing up? Mothers, when they have C-section, okay. it's not good to pull up like this. Mm. Uh -uh. Because when you pull up, it hurts. So you come here, Especially this is for the partner of someone who helps the mothers. I put myself in squats yeah. like this. I'm coming here mm. and I'm balancing you oh, for you to stand I up. I didn't feel anything. Yes. Mm. If you want to sit, 
you put yourself here on the scarf and then you put yourself in squat and you sit yes. oh perfect okay ah! when you you lay down okay i lay down yeah lay down when you lay down okay when you lay down you okay. need to put your arms here mm -hmm. so you can put pressure here and then there you ah. go you know what I mean? Yes. You don't lay down using your abs. Okay. Because your abs have to stay in um, not working. Okay, okay. Okay. See, I did not feel anything. So, no so, pressure yes, on the... So the way that you turn in your bed, okay. you should turn in your bed the way you used to do when you were pregnant oh. at nine months. <laughs> I know. So you continue like, the same And then uh, you first put down your thingy yes. and then... Uh, okay. Oh, wow. I feel like that's enough learning for today. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Mm, let's first mm -hmm. take in all the information, mm -hmm. <laughs> act on it, mm -hmm. share, tell your friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, don't you mm -hmm. think? Yes. And this is really important. Thank you so much. Thank like, you for you to, to, like, you know what? Thank mm. you so much Like for open to us to be able to talk about it without any... Absolute pleasure. My absolute pleasure. I will see you again, maybe? Yes! <laughs> yeah! My Oprah. This is Thank my Oprah. You. <laughs> She just, she just, she just hypes me so much, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So yeah, um, let's end the video here. I know there's there are a lot of things we can talk about. She is a great teacher, and uh, we could sit here for hours. It's getting actually very late, and uh, we will do more videos if you want more, and you have any other questions you would like to to ask her. Again. Leave in the comment section. Uh, reach out to her on her Instagram page. Again, we'll leave a pop-up here and uh, ask me, you know, and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for, for coming. Thank and uh, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, you're my favorite person. And yeah, subscribe, like, share. You know the drill. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.